Nikolaj from a cold night for alligators. Yeah, hell yeah. Amen. <laughs> What's up, sir? How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you great. If if you could, could okay. you uh, could you properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and uh, plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I'm Nikolai. I play drums in the band Cold Night for Alligators. I'm coming to you live from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. And I'm here to plug, uh, I guess, our upcoming album uh, out March 4th through a Rising Empire. And the, the latest single I see you pulled up, it's called Water. We just dropped it. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, how did how did you guys link up with uh, a Rising Empire? Um, well, not not the most <laughs> interesting story, I guess. Uh, our manager uh, knew them, and we had the the record ready to go about a year ago, a little more than that. And we just shopped uh, shopped it around, right? And they were by far the most interesting uh, match, so to speak, that we got out of that. Uh, so they uh, they saw th saw something they liked in the in the record, and uh, we'll see what the rest of the world thinks, right? That's a that's an interesting approach because I don't think a lot of artists consider doing that. You said you finished it a while ago, but you decided to shop it around yeah. to get a label release. Would you recommend that most bands go that route, or do you think it's better for for smaller time bands to just put the product out? I'd say it's different. This wasn't it's it's a case by case thing, right? I'm I'm definitely not the the guy to have the final authority on, on what's the best approach. But we, we already released two records before this. The first one was self-released. Uh, and the second one we got on a, a smaller label called Long Branch. That sort of ended after that album. So we already had sort of a, a track record. And I guess that made it a, a bit more attractive. But I mean, if you, if you can write, go for it. I would say it's, it's step one is always, you know, be good, right? be undeniably good and people are going to notice uh, and, right. and plenty of bands ha have taken it far further than us far quicker. So uh, just go for it, man. Hell yeah. Let's jam water and then uh, we'll get some more questions going. Two questions. Can, can everybody in the band speak English and how did you come up with the band name? Well, uh, yes to the first question. Uh, I would say it's uh, it's taught from an early age here in Denmark because no one speaks our language, right? <laughs> um, and uh, uh, this it's uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 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 kind of a funny story, uh, basically for the fact that we don't really have have a good story for the origin of the band name. It was the first bass player who did it, who who came up with it. I think it was before my time in the band even. He was in the band for all of two months, I think, and I think that was his only contribution. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think it's like a, you know, just just a saying. I don't really know what's behind it. It's not the the Rocky Erickson song. Because uh, there, there's no alligators know. in Denmark, correct? None at all. <laughs> okay. But it's cold. It's freezing here. Josh, at do you right now. do you have any uh, any questions for him? Um, yeah, like, what's your music scene down there? Like, is it, like, pretty heavy with, like, heavy bands, or do you have, like, other types of artists, too? I'll say uh, metal has definitely become more of a mainstream phenomenon, even in later years, uh, like, even since I started playing it, right? So it's become more, more mainstream, but I would say other than that, it's pretty, you know, run-of-the-mill pop heavy i think we have some good good jazz jazz musicians doing some cool stuff uh, cool. but i'd say but there's like a, a couple of bands that are like straight up there's a band called based which is like a straight up death metal that have won awards and been on been on music, mainstream music magazine covers in Den denmark it's kind of fun to see uh, yeah. when you've been part of this 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 sort of more underground thing for such a long time uh uh, the if, only Denmark artist I can think of, um, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he was on a Tech Nine song on Worldwide Choppers, and they brought a couple, um, 
couple of artists from um uh, i think there was someone from the Shiz- Shizek republic i don't know how to say that word the czech um, czech republic and it, czech yeah, republic czech republic there's someone from denmark um and a couple other people um i can't remember the name off the top of my head but that's the only person i can think yeah. of that i know from denmark is oh, weed yeah, I'm, is I'm weed the- legal in in Denmark? Can you guys go get weed everywhere over there? No, I, I was actually uh, wondering, writing, do I need to be uh, do I need to be, be smoking weed to participate in it? But no, I would say <laughs> no. But in uh, I would say in practice here in Co- in Copenhagen, we have this. It's called the Freetown Christiania. That's been like a self governing commune since the seventies. And they have an, an open weed market uh, oh. that's tolerated by the authorities. So it's not legal, but you can go buy it, no problem. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I think, I think uh, No Connection was actually the first song we ever heard from you guys. Uh, can you can you yeah. describe how this song came about as far as like the writing process that went into it? Oh, this was very much driven by our, our lead guitarist, uh, Roy who uh, he came up with the uh, the the verse and the the sort of bridge and, and showed it to us and i think we have a very collaborative painstaking process where we argue about every part so we just sort of took it from there but he came up with all of the the main parts so to speak and there's some cool details in there that that sort of you don't come up with in a in a jam room right where it sort of changes Time signatures quite a bit, but you don't really notice it because it's written quite smoothly. I will say, however, uh, I'm taking credit right now that the saxophone solo was my idea. Oh, uh, nice. There was no solo in there. It's uh, a great idea. Excellent. Like it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Excellent idea. And uh, I actually had the reference that, uh, uh, are you fans of Ghost at all? Uh, we know the band. We, we've never had them on the show, but we're, yeah. we're familiar with Ghost. They have an, an instrumental track called Miasma, which has sort of like a really over-the-top 80s style uh, sax solo. And I sort of had that in the back of my mind. But uh, I'm the only Ghost fan in the band, so I, I ha- sort of had to wrap it up in, in pitches as, as something else, right? You got to twist but our arm a little bit. In there, so. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. I'm going to go uh, grab another yeah. beer really quick, but let's check out No Connection. Dude, yeah, you, are you... I like that video. Like- yeah, the video is sweet. I'm glad to do. That's awesome. Are you down yeah, to uh, review cool. review some bands with us as well as maybe do a little trivia? All right, sure, yeah. Okay, Josh, I, you're going to know this one, Josh. You cannot answer this one. But I just want to know if he knows oh, okay. a little bit knowledge, a little bit of knowledge about American television. So, sir, here is oh. your trivia question. <laughs> On the television show Sesame Street, who lives in the garbage can? Do you have no idea? No idea whatsoever. So you've uh, never even you've uh, never heard uh, of that TV show. I know what Sesame Street is, but I'm not really that well, well versed in uh, I would say kids shows from the states. <laughs> no worries. I wasn't really the the demographic. Oscar the Grouch was the answer we're looking for, and it, and it went, it's going out to full frontal. Let's see what it lands on. It could be torture or a prize. Are you an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan? I am. Because you sure as hell won't be after this. <laughs> I now have to be yeah. Arnold. I have to be Arnold for the for a couple of minutes. Right now, it's time for one more Cold Night for Alligator song. It's called Thin Line. Nicolaj, who who Nicolaj. did who did your audio recordings? Audio recordings. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The audio recording, uh, we did uh, some of them ourselves, and then I did the we we had one of our good friends, Chris, 
uh, who's in a band called Cabal, you all should check out. Uh, absolutely sick band. Uh, he did uh, most of the engineering, uh, except drums, which I did with Jacob Hansen, who also mixed the record. Hell so yeah. a lot of people were involved. You said the name's Cabal? Cabal, yeah. Okay. I've actually showed the States uh, once. Uh, like this? Oh, did, I, did I spell Cabal, it correct? C C C A B A L. Oh, I was thinking like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, uh, and you have to search Cabal Metal, otherwise it's all, all right, there, there, there. I, I was just, because usually it's all conspiracy uh, theory when you try to Google oh, uh, Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Recommendation, we're definitely feeling it. Yeah. We're adding them to the list. It's a dope video, too. Yeah, we're adding them to the yeah, list. Yeah, glad you like it. I, I actually did a, a few gigs with them as a stand-in drummer this summer. It was, uh, it was a ton oh, of fun. Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah, that's cool. Uh, is there is there one place in particular like let's say you're you're mapping out the whole tour where is one and it doesn't matter where on earth like money's not an option right now so you have infinite money where where is the one place that you would not ever miss that you have to just play this location in the world uh, just country or city or venue or... whatever 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 you think like maybe you've always wanted to play a particular venue or go visit a certain country so it'd be cool playing a show there like. I um, mean, that's, that's, we've only played uh, the UK and mainland Europe while I was in the band. Uh, the band actually played India once before I joined. I would love to go there. But I would say for me personally, I would say I'd love to go to Russia. Uh, Russia, that'd be cool. cool. It's not a place that of bands go. It would be, I think, an experience other than just, you know, regular touring. Um, cool. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a band that's actually supporters of our page. They're called Lighters. This one's called Trinity. Let me oh. know what you think of this one. Here's with Trinity. That was wicked. Oh. That's pretty Not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Kind of different, right? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you ever jam hip hop? I'm not a huge hip hop fan. There's a few, a uh, few artists I really enjoy that I go back to. Uh, Kendrick, uh, Run the Jewels. I really, oh, I really Jewels. like a lot of that stuff. Yeah. But that's sort of uh, as as far as it goes from me actually actively. Okay. Uh, I can never remember the name out. of the song of the Run the Jewels one where they're in like the police lineup getting profiled and like they, oh. it's clearly them yeah. and like they're like nah it's not them you know like the whole video that's a pretty funny video but I, that's like one of my favorite songs from them. That, like, I can never remember the name of it. Song, I don't know yeah. the video. Uh, I might know the song if I hear it. <laughs> For sure. What is a uh, What's one last song that we could play of yours, but you get to pick anything from your whole catalog? Oh, yeah, we should pick one of the new ones, of course. That's uh, that's those are the best ones, right? Maybe behind uh, curtains. I would say, uh, yeah, behind curtains. That's that's my favorite song we've ever done, hands down. Why is that? Um, I, I sort of fell in love with it early on. With the whole, it's 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 a little more laid back. It's very synth driven, but it's like incredibly layered and so fun to uh, to listen to just for me. And it's, I think I'm really proud of the drums. So there's a bit of an ego thing there in it as well. Uh, Hell yeah. But it's the open tr opening track of the album, right? So we, I think we all agreed that it, 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 it works. It kind of just, it's the right it's sound to me. start <laughs> to start the record. I like yeah. that. Before we play it, there was and a gifted has... sub that happened. I must spin it one more time. I had that one as a joke the other day because all of them are like beer and alcohol related and hit the bong and I was like, oh, just hydrate. Behind curtains. I'm too. I could definitely see that being like the beginning of an album. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. <laughs> it sets a good tone and vibe right out the gate. Uh, Nikolaj, what what do you what does the band have planned for the rest of 2022? Oh, get, getting as many shows in, in the schedule as possible, right? It's really, it's hard out there for a band our size. Everything has been postponed two years in a row. So uh, everyone's fighting over the same slots. We have some uh, festival stuff we haven't announced yet. And then uh, we're doing some uh, shows around that. Uh, right now, UK and mainland Europe, uh, a couple of different runs uh, and, and more stuff to come, hopefully. But uh can't, can't can't say too much before it's it's locked in, right? 
I understand. Uh, but we'll see what happens when the uh, when the album drops. Uh, if we get any opportunity opportunities we didn't think or expect, we are definitely taking them with this one. Is is COVID like causing any lockdowns currently right now for you guys, or is everything open and you're able to play? No. Denmark's completely open now, uh, as of this month. So we are actually doing a run of Danish shows uh, next uh, next month. We are covering covering the, our home country, which is, is done quite quickly. <laughs> it's not that big. And then uh, I think we've we've played enough in Denmark, and we're we're gonna focus on getting abroad. Uh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, Nikolaj, we appreciate well, you. Possible, right? We appreciate you uh, spending some time out of your day to do this. I know it's probably an odd hour over there uh, where you are versus where it is over here. What time is it over there? No problem. Oh, it's late. Uh, it's after midnight. I'm uh, I'm an old grandpa. I'm sleepy, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, don't mind hanging out with you guys for a bit before that. Hell right. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, get some rest. Yeah. Have much success in 2022. Uh, be safe on, on the road when you guys are out. And congrats on the record release coming oh. out March 4th, correct? March 4th? Correct. Congratulations. Right. That's awesome. I know it's been a long time coming. You've been sitting on the music yeah. for a minute. It's going to be absolutely oh, worth yeah. it. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicolaj of so. Cold Night for Alligators! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo! Thank, Thank you, brother. Man. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, my guys. Talk to you later. And we got another sub coming in, so we're going to spin it again.